Hey guys, what to do? Your boy Zigzotis here bringing you guys another video. The first gameplay on my channel in years. It's been forever since I've uploaded something gaming related onto my channel. It's been like six months. Because I've been basically just trying to do vlogging, things like that. But uh, I realized as of lately, I need to get back to gaming. I need to get back to my roots. I'm falling in love with gaming again. I'm excited. I've been streaming a lot on Twitch. I'm setting up consistent schedules for that uh, because I've never really been consistent with Twitch. As you guys know, I've never really been that consistent with YouTube until this year. Uh, this is the first year I've really tried being consistent. Uh, I've been making sure I upload at least once a week for the past year. It was kind of my New Year's resolution type thing, and now I need to get back on the streaming grind also. Uh, so... I streamed yesterday, I streamed the day before that, I streamed the day before that, I streamed the day before that, uh, since the World War II beta has been out. And it's been really fun to just play with people, to play with Matt, to play with Mark, to play with all of them, uh, Justin, all of them. And this game, I, I love this game. I'm excited to play this game. It's a very fun game. Uh, it's, it's what I think I needed. It's what I think the COD community needed. Uh, it does have a few downsides though, and I kind of want to talk to you guys about those today with the gameplay. I want to talk to you guys more briefly, more in depth than the last video. The last video was just after my first day of playing it, today's after a full weekend with it, reaching level 25, almost having max level and everything. It's what I was shooting for, it didn't end up happening. Uh, because I just got so fed up, I, I can't play with some of those guns. And I think that's because of the maps that we have, like this map, it's close quarters, I can't play with LMGs, I can't play with some of those ARs on this type of map. They're too slow paced, the map's too fast paced, they don't mix well together, and it was giving me a very hard time. But, besides that, I love the game. Now, before we get off to the positives, the things I think are great, the things I don't need change, let's start off with the negatives. Uh, I like getting the negatives out of the way before I get the positives out of the way. So, negatives. Uh, I, For one, I chose this gameplay because I feel like it captured quite a bit of these things that I really didn't like because they're not major problems, they're beta things. They're little things that it's not like I'm whining about it, it's not like I'm complaining about it, it's not like, oh, you better change this or I'm not playing the game or, oh, this game's gonna be crap or something like that because it's not. I think the game's going to be wonderful. But there are a few things that I believe can be improved upon. One of those, for example, is hit detection. You're getting hit markers, everything's hitting, you're not getting killed around corners and things, but sometimes you shoot first, but you get killed first, which I believe is very unfair. I don't know if that has to do with lag compensation, but I noticed if you are not aiming for the chest and above, and the other person is getting chest shots on you, no matter how many bullets behind you they get, they start out shooting you, you usually will die. And I believe that is a big issue. It's I see a lot of complaints about it. It's making a lot of people angry. It's not like you're not getting bullet registration. It's not like your bullets are disappearing. It's just that they're eating bullets a lot of times. And they're killing you a lot faster than you get a chance to kill them. Like, right there. I killed him very quickly. Why can't all my kills be like that? And you can use the argument I was using a suppressor for most of this gameplay. But there's not really an excuse for some of these gunfights I get into where they kill me first and I don't even get a chance to react, even though I'm the one shooting first, uh, which is kind of a weird scenario to be in. Another thing, as you guys just experienced, number two on my list negatives, those incendiary rounds. Now, I'm not complaining about them. I hope they're in the game. I hope I do not want them patched. I do not want them made weaker. What I saw a lot of people talking about is you automatically spawn in if you have the right class You automatically spawn in with the incendiary rounds in your shotgun What I wish they would do Was make it so you have to load them I think that would make it a little bit easier because some people wouldn't take the effort to load them Or some people would get in that position where they had to load them and didn't have them So they just end up using the regular rounds 
I don't want them patched because I like the fact that shotguns are kind of powerful in this game. We haven't really had a game where shotguns were relevant in a while. <clears throat> the last was probably like ghosts. Black Ops 3 shotguns weren't really rele relevant. The Remington was decent, <clears throat> but you didn't see people using it in, in competitive and you didn't see really good players using it. Uh, unless they were trying to make montages or messing around or just things like that. Uh, so I think that shotguns should not be patched, should not be whatever. I think they should stay the way they are. I personally like them. I don't think incendiary rounds should be buffed or anything. I think they're good the way they are. I think also something I have realized over the past Call of Duties, usually at release, the game has the most weapon balance, if you think about it. It usually has the most balance of the guns. And whenever they try to patch them, whenever they try to buff something, whenever they try to make something weaker, they usually end up ruining the game balance. Ghosts, for example, when they buff the vector, it may almost made the MTAR irrelevant. And you could map people with the vector even if they had Remingtons, things like that. Uh, Black Ops 2. PDW and MC, MSMC were pretty evenly matched at the beginning of the game, but around the beginning, like a month or so in, they patched the PDW and made it a lot weaker, making it kind of irrelevant in the competitive scene compared to the MSMC. Uh, and then it became the MSMC, the Scorpion, the M8, the AN94. I want this game to be balanced where you can use more than two or three weapons at the very least. Because IW games like that, there's only been three or four good weapons. I want there to be at least four or five. Now, not saying that this is going to be possible, not saying it's not going to be possible. I really hope they make it possible because I would enjoy being able to use multiple guns. I don't want it just based around the same guns. I want game, I want guns pertaining to different play styles, which I would greatly appreciate, which I think would be great for the game. I would give it a little bit of variation. We'd see a different amount of play styles. Uh, it wouldn't always be focused around one gun it wouldn't always be focused around one ar uh things like that i think it makes it a lot better in this game also that sniping is going to be relevant again uh they have the mg turrets i don't know if they're going to make those usable and competitive uh just simple things like that personally i don't think they should be allowed in competitive unless war becomes a competitive game mode the mgs are only decently useful in war like they're very overpowered in certain situations but they're very useless in other situations like this turret up in this bunker that i'm in right now you can't really see anything with it so it's not very useful uh but i guess the mg turrets will have something to do with how the map plays out and what lanes you use and It'll control the map flow, depending on the game modes for that point. Uh, another thing I wish they would do on Domination, I wish they would make it so you can neutralize flags. <clears throat> I love being able to neutralize flags. I loved how Ghost Domination played out. It would be very nice if they do bring Domination back into the competitive spotlight, if they make it so you can neutralize flags. I think that's one thing that we need to happen. Uh for domination to be a competitive game mode because personally i enjoyed domination as a competitive game mode i loved it i thought it was great uh and we have hard point in this we're gonna have capture there's no uplink so we're going to need to replace that with something so maybe they will change up the competitive game modes a little i think it would be smart and I think it would make it more interesting. I think the more game modes, the more maps, the less boring that the game will be competitively. That's just my opinion. Uh, I think we had Hardpoint, uh, Search and Destroy, Domination, uh, Capture the Flag, and then if we added War. Because I believe that War, 
I guess I can't fully say yet because we haven't played in a multiple maps, but I feel like war would be a great competitive mode. It's going to be long and tedious, but with different maps, uh, if they had smaller maps for it, maps that didn't take as long to complete, I think it would be very, very competitive. And I like... I like the fact that there's like overtime and things like that like capture the flag even when the clock runs out the game does not end until the flag has been returned to its home base which i think is very very nice i love that aspect of it because it's going to make it very competitive in those last few moments it kind of makes it something like baseball uh as compared to football or basketball where you can kind of run the clock out uh it'll be based on plays and based on killing people and based on returning things and based on playing the objective things like that uh, i hope a few different game modes return such as it'd be nice to add crank they're probably not because it's not an infin infinity ward game uh, there are a few other game modes i can't think of off the top of my head now i hope they have the multi-team type thing like black ops 2 had i love that where you could have play hardpoint or play domination with three or four teams uh three teams of four four teams of three things simple like that i hope they have ground war uh as i said i'd like for crank to return i love capture the flag it's obviously going to return i'd like to see search and rescue i really enjoyed that game mode i'd like to see it return uh, just simple things like that guys the game's great overall plays out great, guns are very balanced, very enjoyable, uh, and I really don't have any complaints, I just want to give some criticism, so if Sledgehammer does see this, they can maybe take my opinion into consideration, uh, and that's about it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, 29.17, not too bad for my second game on 7.40 in the morning right now, hope you guys enjoy the video, hope you have a wonderful day, I will see you guys later, peace out my dudes! I'll be streaming later on also, probably some Battlegrounds, check it.